Today we're going to talk about our last type of conic section called the parabola. Here is our technical definition for a parabola, the set of all points equidistant from a particular line, which we call the directrix, and a point called a focus. So that's very different from the definition you previously knew for a parabola. Before today, all you knew that was that a parabola was the graph of a quadratic function. So this is a little more detailed. The directrix is a line, and it could be a horizontal line, it could be a vertical line, it could actually be a slanted line, even though we're not going to do any of those. Um, but we always have this line called a directrix. So I'm going to draw that on my graph, and I'm going to dot it, much like we do an asymptote, because it's not really part of the graph, it's just an important um, object. So I'm going to label this. This would be the directrix. And then we need a point called a focus, so I'm going to put a point about right here and call that the focus. And so this definition says that a parabola is the set of all points equidistant from that line and that point. All right, so if this is the line, this is the point, in order to be the same distance, we would need a point there, and I meant for that to be halfway in between the directrix and the focus. And then if we continued on, these are all points that would be the same distance away, roughly, from the focus as they are from the directrix. And if we did the same thing on the other side, here is how we are going to get our parabola. All right. The equation, the standard equation for a parabola, there are two different versions here. This first one says x minus h quantity squared equals 4p times y minus k. This is the version that's going to be used if our parabola is opening up or down. So if our parabola is opening up or opening down, this is the version that we're going to use. And you can see that there's a y and there's an x squared. So that looks very similar to, now I know it's rearranged, but it looks similar to the equation that we have used for quadratics before, where our y is degree 1 and our x term is degree 2. This other one has the x term having a degree 1 and the y term having a degree 2. This is the one that we're going to use when our parabola is opening to the right or to the left. And it is one or the other. With hyperbolas that we looked at, we had two parts. We had a part opening up and down, or we had a part opening left and right. Um, these, it's one or the other. We're not going to have two parts to this. Here are the important objects. The hk for these equations is the vertex. For um, the other equations that we've looked at, that was the center. We don't really have a center for a parabola. We have a vertex, so that's going to be the hk. Focus, you see my focus labeled up there, um, the directrix. There is an axis of symmetry, and that for us is either going to be a vertical line or a horizontal line. For this parabola that I have drawn, that would be a vertical line, and we would name that x equals whatever x value that's going through, so we would be naming um, the equation of the line. We have something called a focal length, and we have something called a focal width. I want to add to the formula that is given here. This is the formula that you will be given on your formula sheet for your North Carolina final exam at the end of the semester. Um, for us, I want to change that just a little bit because our equations have a P. This focal length is also P in our equation. And absolute value of 4P is going to be our focal width. So we will talk about um, those, those things a little bit more later. But for right now, make sure that you know that the P in both of these equations is the focal length and the 4p, absolute value of the 4p, is the focal width. Now, just like with the others, this focal length, this p value here, is the distance from not the center, but the vertex, distance from the vertex to the focus. Okay, so it's important to know what that's referring to when you do find that P, that focal length. That's important to know that is the distance from the vertex to the focus. All right.
right, here is a picture of a parabola where the directrix line is not horizontal or vertical. That is a slanted um, directrix, but you can see the equidistant um, part of that definition. The vertex would be equidistant between the directrix and the focus. We have all of these other points that would be equidistant, so another example of that. All right, and just a couple more um, explaining the, the relationship between the directrix and the focus and the vertex. All right, so let's take a look at our first example. Example one says find the focus, directrix, and focal width of the parabola. So this is a parabola in the form where y has a degree of one, and x has a degree of 2. So back a couple slides ago, we talked about this equation. And this is the one that we will be using for this example because the y is degree 1 and the x is degree 2. So just based on that, we know that this parabola is either going to open upward or it's going to open downward. And because we know stuff about parabolas already, and we know that there's a negative out front, we actually already know that this one's going to open downward. All right, so let's see if we can get it in this form, this x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. We need the x term on a side by itself, and we really don't want that to have a coefficient. The coefficient part of this, um, the number part, is going to go over here as the 4p. So we want to get rid of that negative 1 half. How we're going to get rid of that negative 1 half is we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by negative 2. All right, so we have negative 2y equals, and then the negative 1 half times negative 2 is going to be a positive 1x squared. All right, and just so that it looks identical to this form that we needed, and I'm also going to flip that around. x squared equals negative 2y. All right, so it says to find the focus, directrix, and focal width of the parabola. One other thing that I also want to find here is the vertex. The vertex is the hk, so the numbers in the parentheses with the x and the y, which there's not any in this case, so our vertex is going to be at 0, 0. So let me go ahead and put that on my graph, 0, 0. All right, and it wants me to find the focus and the directrix. We know that those are going to be the same distance away from the vertex. The vertex is always right in the middle. We know that this one opens downwards. I'm just going to kind of sketch in what we're looking at. We know that it opens downward. The focus, let me do this in a different color, is always inside the parabola. I'm going to estimate about right there. And the directrix is going to be equidistant away on the other side. So there's our focus and there's our directrix. We are going to be able to figure out where those are by using this 4p. Okay, the 4p that we talked about a minute ago. In this case, the 4p or the number coefficient of that y minus k term is negative 2. Okay, so if we solve that for p, divide both sides by 4, we're going to get negative one half. That is our focal length. In other words, that is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So what I just figured out is that the distance here on my graph between the vertex and the focus is negative one half. Now we know that that distance, if you're talking about a length or a distance, we know that that's neg that, that is one half. This negative is important because that tells me it is one half below the vertex. Okay, so if we did not know already that this one opened downward, that sign on that focal length would tell us how it opens. That is going to be important when we get to some that are opening left or right where we're not as familiar with how those graphs look and what the signs do. That is going to help us decide whether it opens to the left or opens to the right. Okay, so if that focus is one half of a unit away from the vertex, which was at zero, zero, that tells us the coordinates of the focus. And let me add it over here. The coordinates of the focus would be zero, negative one half. Zero, negative one half. All right, the directrix, remember it's the same distance away on the other side. And this is always going to be an equation of a line. So in this case, the line is horizontal, so we know it's going to be a y equals 
equation and the y value that this goes through again because it's the same distance away from the vertex as the focus was that's going to be y equals one half okay so there is the focus directrix and then the last thing that it asks us to find is the focal width the focal width is the absolute value of 4p so if we plug that in absolute value of 4p our number that was 4p was negative 2 so we're really doing absolute value of negative 2 or if you want to plug back in the negative 1 half but remember how we found that was just taking 4p and setting it equal to negative 2 so we know that the focal width is 2 graphically what the focal width is and I'm going to do this in green is the distance from side of the parabola to the other side of the parabola through the focus that is what we are saying has a width of 2 so it's from side of the parabola to other side of the parabola through the focus that is what we found as a length of 2 All right, taking a look at example two, it says find an equation in standard form for the parabola whose directrix is the line x equals two and whose focus is the point negative two, zero. So let's go ahead and put on our graph all the information that was given. It does have a directrix at x equals negative two. That's a vertical line through the x value of two. So there's the directrix. And the focus is at the point negative two, zero so right here is the focus the vertex is always halfway between the focus and the directrix so that tells me that my vertex is at zero zero now we know based on the information that it gave me about the directrix and the focus we know that this is going to open to the left the focus is always inside the parabola so we know this is going to open to the left so our equation that we're going to be using is this version y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h we could also go ahead and plug in our vertex of 0 0 or h and k is 0 0 now even though this is flipped around make sure you put the x part of your vertex as your h in this parentheses and the y part of your vertex as your k in this case it doesn't matter um, but be careful of that that you don't get that mixed up the next time okay now the only other thing that we need to plug in here is our p value and remember p is the focal length which is the distance from the focus to the vertex so in this case our p or our focal length if we just count is 2 now because it is 2 to the left of the vertex that is actually going to be a negative 2 because it is 2 to the left of the vertex that is going to be negative 2 so when we plug that p value into our formula we're going to have y equals 4 times negative 2 times x which simplified is negative 8x so y squared equals negative 8x that would be our equation for this parabola that was described to us so the positive version opens to the right negative opens to the left very much like positive when we were talking about y equals x squared positive opens up and negative opens down um, these positive would open to the right and negative would open to the left we will do examples three and four in class together but for your homework the problems that you need to look at on your worksheet are numbers one two seven and eight.